we're going to identify parallel and perpendicular lines. Keep in mind that parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have slopes that multiply to give you negative one or negated reciprocals. An example would be two thirds and negative three over two. You flip one and change its sign and then you'll know that it is perpendicular. That means that the, um, the lines intersect to form a right, right angle. Now, non-vertical lines are perpendicular only if their slopes are negated reciprocals and vertical lines are always perpendicular to horizontal lines. When we look at this first line, it's in y equals mx plus b form, so we can identify the slope as the four. So that one was fast and easy. On this one, it is not in the proper form. I need it to look like y equals mx plus b. So since the x is on the left side and it needs to be on the right side, let's subtract x from both sides. We do so. We have 4y equals negative x plus 3. Remember, you want the x in front and the constant 3 at the back. And then to get the y alone away from the 4, we'll divide every term by 4. So y equals, you can turn this um, frac into a fraction, negative 1 fourth. It's invisible 1 in front of the x. Negative 1 fourth, fourth x plus 3 fourths. Now, we know the slope is the number in front of the x, so it's negative 1 fourth. And I can already tell that these two are negated reciprocals, and that means those would be perpendicular to each other. For the last one, we need to make it y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to get rid of the 2x, the uh, minus 2x, by adding 2x to both sides. So I have negative 8y equals 2x plus 16. Then I will divide by negative 8, and you have to divide every term by negative 8. So I have y equals, you've got to simplify 2 over negative 8. That's the same as 1 fourth. You divide them both by 2. So 1 fourth x, and then 16 divided by negative 8 is negative 2. So my slope here is negative 1 fourth as well. So what I know is that A and B are perpendicular. So I'm going to A perpendicular to B. And A is also perpendicular to C because they're negated reciprocals. And B and C are parallel. So B is parallel to C, same slopes. So this is a symbol for parallel and this is the symbols for perpendicular.